Hello, welcome to Contemporary Art History 312. Today we're going to talk about Andy Warhol, 1928 to 1987 are his dates. Andy Warhol, uh, you can't take a contemporary art history class without looking at the work of Andy Warhol because he became so popular and is still popular today. He is probably the master of pop artists. I'm going to talk here about Elizabeth Taylor and this uh, celebrity. In the last uh, video when we talked about Richard Hamilton, we talked about how those pop artists in England were very interested in celebrity and so was Andy Warhol. What he would do is he would he had a Polaroid camera. I don't know if you know what a Polaroid camera is but it's the first time you could take a camera with film and then immediately after you had taken the picture it would spit out the picture and it would be developed. Now today that seems like really old technology but in the 60s and in the 70s that was really considered the state of the art. So what he would do when he needed money is he would go and take a, a photograph of a popular person and then he would have his studio rats silk screen it and he didn't care if the image was lined up or if it was uh, particularly done particularly well. It just needed to be mass produced because he said that we lived in a kind of mass produced society and we're still living in that kind of Andy Warholian uh, society. So there's a lot of information about Andy Warhol and there's a great uh, set of videos in Stocks and Library but it's quite long. It's probably about three hours long and it's about the life of Andy Warhol so you can find out if you watch this video you can find out more about Andy Warhol than you probably even want to know. Um, here is this is a picture of um, Marilyn Monroe and um, but that's probably not his most famous image but his most famous images are probably the soup can image. When he was a young boy his mother became ill and his brother, one of his older brothers, made him Campbell soup for lunch every single day and so then he thought that maybe the soup can should be elevated. He actually started out as an illustrator but it took him a, took a long time before when he did go to New York City it took a long time for the art world to take him very seriously. But after they did, uh, after he was discovered, um, Andy Warhol could just about do anything. In fact, he was just famous for being Andy Warhol. So we're going to make a referential Andy Warhol. Uh, you have a lot of things to choose from, a lot of uh, different um, icons. But when you do your research, find something you like and find something that kind of speaks to you about Andy Warhol. With that, I will wish you good luck until next time, and thank you for your attention.